Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run of this week's Master Nightfall, which is Devil's Lair. I'm doing it on the Hunter, as you can see. I'm doing it on Ox Strider. I'm using uh, the Forward Path, which is the Iron Banner Auto Rifle for Barriers. Tico's Divination for Overload and Threaded Needle will be my main damage source for... Armor, you can see I'm using Raiden Flux to extend Arc Strider. I have Particle Deconstruction on my cloak, and I have Linear Fusion Rifle, Ammo Finder, and Scavenger on. I've also got Sniper Damage Resist on my chest plate, and that'll just help me in the main room with the two Briggs and the Fallen Walker. It will help me kind of do a bit more, be able to be in the fight a bit more, uh, because the snipers will ping you from the other side. So when you come in here, as you can see, I'm just going to spiral past everything. All we want is this overload. Now, if, as you can see, this overload, he's, he really, where, where I've got him here, don't worry if he's not here when you're doing it, because just just wait it out at the back there. He, he likes to jump about. He'll eventually come back into view, and you can just take him the way I did. Uh, and then when we go into this next room, you're going to have a slew of enemies, some falling at the top, a load of hive at the bottom, and then you're going to have a barrier. We're going to use Tiku's kind of alternate fire rate, which is basically his main fire rate at this point, which is we're going to uh, hit fire, which you can see it, it attaches burning uh, arrows to the enemies, explosive ar arrows, and then if you kill one of those explosive burning enemies, uh, they will explode. And they'll take, they'll take a load of the enemies around them. So as you can see, there's your barrier. I'm going to put a couple of shots on, then switch to the auto rifle, and then finish them off. And then, because this week, one of this week's modifiers is chaff, or chafe, whichever you want to say, uh, we, we're just being a little bit more careful in these areas. Because chaff, basically, you have no radar. So I'm just checking behind me. And there we go. Just got to make sure that all the ads are clear before you move forward. Now, this is what is commonly commonly uh, referred to as a rainbow nightfall. It has all uh, dam uh, elemental shield types. So you have arc, void, and solar. So I kind of I kind of thought that I was trying I was trying to discern wh what I would need for what. Now at the end, at the boss, and in this room, you've got an amount of uh, arc shields. You only really have solar shields in here. So, but Tikus has so many different uh, uses. It's you know the utility of the the explosive bow makes ad clearing pretty easy. Uh, so I would suggest going with going with an arc bow. You can use other bows if you want, uh, but Tikus is definitely by far. I think the best for doing this. Now, Lemon Arc is really good as well. But I, I used Lemon Arc. I, I've used both of them in this one. Uh, and this one, I just felt like Tiku's was better for this Nightfall. So you got a barrier down here. He will run sometimes. Because I killed the two little uh, acolytes around him, then he ran. So I'm just checking to see where the barrier is. So I've decided I'll take out these two snipers over at the back. When you're in rooms like this, when at all possible, it's better taking out your ranged opposition first. Because they, it allows you to move and you're not looking for, you know, the, the damage that will get done to you will be enemies that you're expecting to do that damage as opposed to taking damage from, you know, parts unknown. So there's the barrier. You can see there, he's put his shield up. Now, even though he put it up quite late and I knew that I... Possibly would only be able to get a couple of shots on him. Uh, that 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 he, there was a chance that he could lower his shield before I broke it. I still attempted to break it because when you break a barrier shield, you stun them, and it just gives you the time to put the damage on. Now, my t I don't have the gob roll on the the linear fusion rifle. Uh, must have deleted it. Didn't think linears were going to be the thing. If you have, if you haven't got it, if you have, well done. But if you haven't got it. It's probably worth trying to get an auto-loading holster Whirlpool threaded needle. It's the only linear fusion rifle of the three main elements. I'm not sure. I think the Trials one can, can drop with it. But it's the, from uh, Tarantula threaded needle and I forget what the solo one's called. Uh, Corsair's Wrath. I don't forget. Uh, it's the only one that drops with Whirlpool. So we've got one captain here. I'd already used my, my uh, grenade. 
so I had to come up and melee him. That's probably the most danger I ever put myself in in this run was coming up and because he's an arc shield and or subclasses as arc. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd used the grenade, so I had to melee him. Right, I'm not going to pop us up for one guy. Um, uh, so that's this room. That's how I do this room. Snipe us first, then wizards. Try and take out some of the, some of the smaller ads. Uh, and then we go for normally I've got the barrier kill anyway So when you come when, when you start this room, this is where we're gonna do all of our damage room Now down here is kind of a safe For me, it's it's a really good place to just do your damage room now some people will go up where the actual where as you can see where the with the The objective is and they'll go up on the ramp there. It's an old d1 strat. I think that if you're doing that, uh, you know, in all, in all seriousness, if you're doing that, it, it's a good place to be. It, 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 you'll be able to do things quickly because you'll be able to see the whole room. But you have to remember, if you can see the whole room, the whole room can see you. So it's kind of, you're doing it for speed at that point. And yet, what I like to do in my runs, anybody who's been watching my videos for any length of time knows, it's not about speed. It's about repeatability, and this this strategy will work every time. You know, it's not even a strategy per se. It's just safe places to be and where to do your damage without putting yourself in too much harm's way. In these sort of runs, you can never really not put yourself in harm's way at some point. So once you've t once you take out all the ads that I have, all you'll be left with is any stragglers and. Uh, that arc captain. Now you can see there. I didn't have to go up and punch him because I, I actually, I just had a grenade, and I think I've got the mod on where picking up orbs. I think it's on the chest plate, uh, not the chest plate, uh, the legs maybe. Picking up orbs will give me grenade energy back. You know, so because I know I'm in this room more than anywhere else, I'm going to need my grenades. So this. You're gonna get the, as you can see, you've got security uh, measures deactivated. We're still at one, uh, so th this, these are the waves you're gonna get at one, right? Uh, so the barrier came out there, which was which. The damage that you do, don't don't be too kind of. Uh, Annoyed if you don't take that barrier down before he runs away, right? Because it's happened to me that sometimes I fired at him and the first three shots seem to have done half damage. I don't know what's going on in Destiny at the moment, but it feels like the amount of damage I do one time isn't the same as the amount of damage I'm gonna do the next time. So there's a couple of there's a couple of arc knights here, I'm just gonna punch him. I want to try and keep my grenade. And then once I do that, I back away again. There's another knight. So now I can use my grenade. Now I've seen the two knights come out there. I was going to pop my super and go and clear them. But I decided the grenade actually took one of the other captains. Not the knight, sorry. That took one of the, the arc captains. There's the other one. There's two arc captains that come out just behind where the two arc knights come out. Just, just after they come out. So now what I'm doing is... Tikus will take down their shields. The explosive damage goes through the shield. It's, it works the same way as explosive rounds will go through go through a shield. It just takes a little bit more because one, as as most of you'll be aware, one of the modifiers that's on in a master in all masters is match game. Now, you see there, security measure deactivated two of three. When you get that, we're going to get two overload champions. And they're going to come down to us, which is why this is such a great place. So what you can see what I'm trying to do here is stop the overload. So hip fire the Tikus. Uh, hip fire Tikus and then explode it. And then start hitting the, the overload. Now you can see there, I didn't get the explosive shot. So what I done was I hip fired twice because I wasn't sure I'd hit them with the first one because... The only problem with Tikus is it has, sometimes, it has a mind of its own. See, I've got the, the explosive shot there. And there we go. 
explosive shot just seems to take off enough damage, put on enough damage to the overlords that uh, three three uh, three vorpal weapon shots will will take out the champion. Now, again, I'm going to add this in because I know somebody's going to say it in the comments. Look at your power level. Yep, I have quite a high power level. That's because I wanted to do. I wanted to do it. It's not. It's because I want. I'm doing a challenge to try and get uh, season rank a thousand in a, in a certain length of time. Like I'm trying to do it in eight weeks. If I do it, I might even keep going and see if I can hit season rank two thousand. But it's just because it's just a challenge. But you, if 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 you're if you come in here and you're like, well, my weapons aren't doing the same as yours, then then you get to see what's the point of getting a high a high power level. You know, doing this kind of content, it, it does that. The more powerful you are, the easier it becomes. And this is like a 33-minute run on on the hunter. This is a long nightfall. It's a very long nightfall. Uh, last week was the corrupted, and the minute I found out, I, I went in and had a look at the master on the Titan, which probably wasn't the best idea. Although I have done a Titan run on this that I will upload directly after this because I'm going on holiday for a week so I'm going to upload three or four videos today and that at least then you guys have got stuff to watch for the time that I'm away uh, the Titan's not so good in PvE anymore which I find it's slightly uh, I wouldn't say annoying it's, it's kind of sad that the, the Titan was the, the archetypical PvE character at one point and now you know you struggle to do a legend nightfall with it uh, not even a legend nightfall, a legend lost sector. I, I am before the Titan mains get on me. I am a Titan main. You know, Titan was my first character. It was my first love, uh, and I, it's just sad to see how lo how far it's fallen. Uh, but rest assured, Titan and Hunter mains. This is going to be basically my season season of Titan and Hunter. I feel like I've played Warlock too much, and whereas it's not easy street. The Warlock's got a lot of ammo for P, P you know, a lot, a lot of different things it can use for PvE. Uh, so I am going to be running more uh, Titan and Hunter runs. So I hope you guys enjoy those. So you can see there when we came out of that big room and, and we and we dealt with all the ads, then then you've got an overload. It's there's not really much much strategy there. Uh, the strategy really was kill the enemies in front of you. So what I tried to do there, you see I took, I, I did take a few shots there. But because I had sniper damage resist on it, I, I could tank them. I could have popped my super, but I felt like for, what, six enemies? It, it, there was no point. So I decided to try and lure the, I decided to try and lure the, the champion out into a place, using the window as well to deal with the, the champion. You can see the little boxes that Tiku presents. That's it marking enemies, right? And there's 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 a few little snipers over there. There's a heap of enemies to the left. Now, you'll notice in this next couple of minutes, I'm staying in a certain position. I'm trying to stay away from the front of the building, this building to right in front of us, because the minute you go past your front, the front of the building. The, uh, your front? There is only one front. Uh, the minute you go past the front of that building, <clears throat> you'll activate the two brigs, the captain, uh, sorry, the, the fallen walker. You're just going to get a load of stuff happening. But if you stay behind the front of that building, you can kind of take out a bunch of these ads uh, from, you know, from relative safety. Where I'm aiming now, there is an overload in that area. So we're trying to entice the overload out. You can see the barrier kind of, the barrier doing his nosy neighbour thing. You know, what's going on over there? Uh, there's a, a bunch of yellow, yellow bar snipers. They are quite far away. Uh, so Tiku marks them with the explosive the explosive shot and just makes it slightly, although I wouldn't say easy is the right word, but it makes it uh, a simpler thing to... Uh, to actually take them out if you can mark a few of them with the explosive rounds. Is it called causality or something? I can't remember what the actual the actual uh, perk is called. 
There we go. There's the overload gone. You get that. You get that uh, explosive shot from from Tico's off first, and it really does help uh, take out take out the champions. I'm just trying to clear up these as many of these ads, these these snipers as I can from the back. That's the last one. So again, there's a bunch of little ads. You can see the thorn. When you get those grenades, you know you've got a uh, drag. And I think there's one more. <clears throat> so I'm, there he is over at the left, just the left corner. I'm just going to move as close to this front edge as I can. There he is. So now, there's no more ads at the front. Really, well, there's one more. But there's really, there's. I, I'm too far away because auto rifle from, you know, auto rifle uh, anti-barrier. I've heard a lot of people talk about it, and I agree with everybody. Auto rifle anti-barrier sucks, right? But you just kind of, you know, have to adapt. You just, it's just what we've got to do. There's, you know, I could, I, I could come on here and moan about the fact that it's anti-barrier auto rifle, but we, we've been, we've been kind of, we've been kind of lucky up till now with anti-barriers. They've been really good weapons up until now. Uh, and this, this forward path, now. I used it a couple of times, a friend of mine, when it first came out, was like, man, this is actually pretty good for an auto rifle, you know. So, I, I used it a couple of times, and it literally one day was, was the only auto rifle I had at hand, and was like, oh, I'm just gonna, I was gonna use this. Can't remember what I was using it for. And it was fire. It's really stable. It's got a good fire rate. I've got Swashbuckler and Feeding Frenzy on it. Very good. Just my threaded needle, in case anybody missed it, has rangefinder and Vorpal. I don't have autoload and holster because I'm an idiot and probably deleted the one that I have because linear fusion rifles were like nerf guns for a long time. And the only, the only, uh, the only uh, linear that I used to use was uh, tarantula. Big shout out to my clan mate Evan who literally tried to burn me uh, because I called it Tarantula and he thought it was Tarantella, which allegedly is a Italian or a Spanish dance. It is it's an ongoing joke in the clan. So now what you can see is we've activated the boss, the walker. With the walker comes more champions and two bricks. Now where I'm standing on top of that building, the boss will throw his big attack, can't hit you. As long as you don't go near the front of that building, he can't hit you. So, it's a safe spot. The reason I came to the back is because the fallen ship came in. And the fallen ship, uh, uh, and intermittently, a fallen ship will come in. And, and as anybody, everybody and anybody knows, uh, uh, fallen Saber, Nightfall, uh, certain, certain public events, they just constantly shoot at you. And, and because we're in a master, that equates to, you know, that, that equates to death from above. So whenever, whenever you see the Fallen ship come in, get out of there. The other thing you need to take into consideration when you're doing this area, is there are very few places where, I say very few, it's probably the other way about, but that there's there's a very few places where the fallen walker can shoot you from from the back but you need to be aware of where you're doing your damage from because the fallen walker while you're doing damage to these this is the right hand brig which i've just took out uh while you're doing damage to the right and the left you see from right from where i'm now fallen walker can see me so while i'm doing damage to the brig the fallen walker will be trying to do damage to me now again, up here, see where I am right now, you're, you're safe up here to a degree. Now when I say safe, this isn't like some cheese where you can stand here and look at this, you will not get damaged. As you can see, you will get damaged. But the Fallen Walker, what, what we're talking about is, we're talking about uh, the kind of the damage that people hate that you get from st stuff like Yolton. When you're in Crucible and you're in a gunfight and someone Yoltons you from halfway across the map, it's it's that uh, sneaky damage <laughs> where you're trying to do something 
and someone else is firing some sort of shot that will one hit you, you that's your awareness. It's not not really. Big shout out to the Yotun. I love the Yotun. Uh, and if you're a Yotun user, I love you too. Uh, except in Crucible. But uh, yeah, so you can go up there and 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 the fallen tank, it, the, the fallen walker, fallen tank. Uh, it can't shoot you. Now you can see I've pushed up close. I want the snipers d down. Even when you push up close, you're safe here from the fallen walker to a degree. See, there's the sniper that was doing the damage. Just put a couple on him. Now the fallen walker has. See, I'm just. I'm, it, it can't hit you when you're up here. Just don't take too much chances with your position. You know, I'm a little bit... Really, I'm a little bit too forward here. Uh, you should be... I, I think the reason I was trying to back away, but where I am, there's a little plate on the floor that, I, that I'd have to jump back over. The boss is that shot. His other shot. You're quite far away, but it will, it will hit you. Uh, and now, you see here, this is the reason why... This is why... Particle deconstruction with a with a linear fusion rifle is so good. Now, the fire rate on the threaded needle is really good, really good. But sometimes your charge is ready. If you've seen the flinch, it's it's kind of a vertical, slightly to the right, but it's a vertical flinch. Your shot will be ready before your flinch comes back into into position. So what I do is charge my first shot. The first shot I'm going to hit. I charge it, and then I uh, see there that was that was quite annoying. It, the the overload kind of moving while I was still hitting him with the ball. I'd missed the the opportunity to uh, to keep him stunned. I'll, I'll talk about the threaded needles fire rate first, and then I'll go back to that. So what I kind of do is I charge my threaded needle shot for the first shot. I just ping. Then what I do is, half charge, then a full charge. So I kind of, it's like I rev the charge a little bit. It gives me a chance to make sure my reticle is in position before I pull the trigger. Because what you might find, and I definitely found it, and I consider myself to be a relatively accurate player. I'm not like, you know, aimbot accurate, but I'm not 15 shots, haven't hit the thing. Uh, so, but I was finding I was missing... Missing a fair amount of shots with, with, uh, with the threaded needle, and it's because the charge rate. It was because the charge rate was so high that I was just trying to go ping, 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 but the reticle hadn't returned to its original spot. So now I do a charge and then a half charge, and that half charge release. Just it's just a routine I'm in. You don't really have to do that, but it's a routine that I'm in. And that half charge, then full charge, just gives me that millisecond or half second to make sure my reticle's in position. So, uh, the overload thing, that I, I digressed and said I would come back to that. When you stun an overload, you've got, once you stun it, you'll see that it's stunned, bent over. Now, it's gonna st now he's going to stand back up and there is a point right after he stands back up. That if you don't, it's kind of like it's kind of it's, it's like a mini stun. It's like a flinch. You flinch him. If you can do that, if you get that flinch, he won't regenerate his health. And the way you get it, ninety percent of the time, the the reason why overloads run away, and 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 are kind of hard to pin down, is because you switched to a weapon that isn't uh, an overload weapon. Overload weapons constantly suppress ability regeneration, right? So if you can get them to flinch, get the get that, that that enemy to flinch, uh, getting that flinch stops them from regenerating and running away. So it kind of is if if you're in a fire team and you're doing something like this, make sure that wh whoever whoever you're with, make sure that you designate taking down an overload. Somebody keeps hitting them with an overload weapon, and the other players can switch to heavy or whatever. You need to make sure you're hitting the overload champion with an overload shot when they start, when they kind of straighten up after you've disrupted them, and that keeps them disrupted. 
So in that room that we were just in, we're going to have two overloads in this, in the boss area before. We're going to have a couple of ads and two overloads, so I'm going to take them from the right here. I'm going to make sure I'm on the right hand side of this doorway so that I can keep moving back into cover. So you see there are two overloads. Now the other guy's going to, the other overload's going to go, no, 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 you're not doing that. And he'll come right in front every time. So now he's going to be, you know, who we're going to take. So in that room we just come out of, the walker room. Once I take down the bricks, I try and take down the walker. Now, I make sure before any of that happens, I make sure that, uh, I make sure that, uh, the snipers are down, as many of the snipers as possible, and that I've took the overload down. Sometimes you can't take the barrier in the middle, but there is only one barrier. So what I do is, I take down the two bricks, and I take down the walker. I've already, I take down, I take, as soon as you go into the room, and you've, you've took the barrier champion to unlock the rest of the room, I take down the overload that's in the middle, and then as many of the snipers as possible, then the brig, then the walker. And then I'll work my way forward. Take out the, as many of the overloads as you can, and, and when you... Because what you've got to be wary of, and you'd have seen it in, in, in the thing, there is an overload over the other side, uh, in the, uh, on the left hand side, up by where the walker is. The barrier that's there will, will shield him. So I kind of try and take out as many ads as possible to make it, to make it easy enough for me to <clears throat> take down the overloads. So now that we've come in, we've took down those two champions. Uh, what What's happened there is, <clears throat> as soon as I've done damage to the boss, you can see there, the little servitors are up. So what's happened is I've done enough damage to start the first kind of damage phase, and that was the linear fusion rifle. I popped my super, now some people may say, ooh, you were lucky there. I was actually unlucky. I popped my super to take down the first. There's two waves where you get arc captains, hence, <clears throat> excuse me, hence why I'm using uh, Arc Strider, because I can just go out and just obliterate that wave of ads. You will get Exploders. It was unfortunate for me that the, the first Arc Captain pushed me, so I popped. The other one normally stays over at the other side. That's the first, He normally doesn't run away into the middle where I was. So, just be wary here. See, there's the Exploders. Just be, just be wary of... Uh, the captain's location. The second kind of little tip for this, you will have ads spawning underneath. See, see the stability of that auto rifle? It's insane. It's just like a laser beam. And I am using it because it hasn't had, I kind of, when I was doing the run, I was like, I, be I better actually use this. Because so far, I haven't had any cost of it. You see there, it's, it's super stable. And it just, it allowed me here to save, uh, I'll just go and get this heavy, it allowed me to save some of my linear fusion rifle shots because the linear is going to be what we use primarily to damage the boss. See there is one more exploder. So now I'm going to have to break his shield again. And now for this last one I'm going to use Kiku. There you go. Reload, make sure my, my linear is fully reloaded. And then just put a couple on them. Just now you see, I can see the, sh the shanks coming. So back into the room. I'm going to keep my super for uh, when the, the next wave of captains come out. If, you know, if I get, if, if you need to use it before then, fine. If you get it and you need to use it, fine. They always have those three. You'll always have three, uh, shanks in that other room you see there you can see that the captains are out now now i should have yep enemies underneath it's this wave you get normally always get a couple of enemies underneath i like to take them out because there might be times i need to run here to go over to the other side i've almost got my super the alt captains are out as soon as i get my super I should go out and, and see, pop the super and just clear the ads. Now, you would have seen the first time I cleared the ads, you will have seen uh, that uh, 
I was taking out shanks as well because the super will go, th go through red bar shields. Now my super's almost run out, but I need to make sure that second alt captain is gone. There he is. That's that wave of ads gone. <clears throat> Unfortunately for me, the, the boss kind of had a little look at me there. I'm just making sure there's no other ads out. Yep, there is. Just this guy. And so now what I'm going to do is just put it on him and get that next wave. Now he's immune here. Get that next wave out. Oh, hello. Oh, goodbye. Now, the last wave, this last wave, now you're going to get over two overloads. There we go. Now, one of them is going to, like, just be super annoying. I've got the explosive shot on him. Uh, unfortunately, I missed. I missed that shot because an ad was there. And the ad took the shot. But it was fine because I, I was in position where I could finish that overload. But this overload here... I don't know if you guys remember when I soloed this on Grandmaster. It like took me ages to take him down because he kept doing his disappearing act up the stairs. Well, I'm not saying I've learnt anything from that, but I'm not going to be waiting for him now. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to make sure there's no ads. Just take out. There is one ad room there. Now I'm going to start taking out the little servitors. He will eventually come into position. Now I'm not going to. I'm going to take down a few of them. See how he's the, the overload is not pushing. This last overload is just not pushing. So I'm going to make sure I keep at least a few shots. They will be heavy out there somewhere. I'm going to keep a few shots just for the boss. Now, I maybe should have switched to Tico. See there? You see the overload was just coming down the stairs there. I mean, this is, for an auto rifle, a primary auto rifle, that's actually pretty good damage. We'll just take out the last add. Have a little look, see if we can find this heavy over there. Now, now we're getting another, another wave of shanks in. Tiku sorts them out pretty easily. You'll have three shanks right here. Every time the shanks come in, you'll have three there. That's the shanks down. There's the overload. The minute I fired at him, he was off. But now, he wants to stay in habit. So I'm going to use this because I, I seen I had a brick. There we go. It's over the other side, so I'm just going to jump, make myself a difficult target, pick this up, dodge out of the way. And now I've got four shots. just gonna I'm, I'm looking for heavy looking for heavy making sure there's no ads about so we'll take out him that leaves me three shots now we are gonna get a wave of ads I'll have my super if I need it so what I'm gonna do here is put two shots get a third that's the last heavy I've got and now we're getting another wave of ads. I'm just going to go in here. Yep, the yellow bar. Super. Now, because it, there you go, straight away. I was going to say, because I've got linear fusion rifle ammo finder on, you see I'm able to take those shanks out. Because the super will go through them. And for anybody worrying or wondering, you know, or seeing that, oh, well, went, he went red bar there. You, you do get... A substantial damage uh, resistance in your super. So I wasn't like too panicking about getting hit. You just get that explosive shot on, and then bye, buddy, there's three in here. And there we go. I've got six linear fusion rifle shots. Should only take one or two to take, put them down. There you go. So you do get a sub sub substantial damage resistance when you're in your super. So just make sure that you only pop your super here <clears throat> when the, the, the bunch of red but yellow yellow bar ads come out. Be careful for the exploders in the first round. And there you go, guys. That is a solo master on the Hunter. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. There will be a couple of more videos going up after this. Uh, my, so my Flawless Trails run. The Titan Solo Master will go up as well. 
thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And take it easy. And I will see you guys in the next video.